Hi, Elberethine Abra here, and more blind bags. Okay, so, um, over the past little bit, pretty much since I've seen them in stores, I've picked a couple up at a time. Okay, I only have five, so I'm not going to be able to get all eight out of, out of this, um, this group, but I love fairy tales. Fairy tale stories, this is right up my alley. It's a little bit more up my alley than the hair ones were. Um, I think the babies are fine. I would love full-size calico critters because they're the ones I really love. The babies are fine. They're just so little. Um, but let's see who we get. Let me know who your favorite is. Um, okay, and it tells you that it wants you to cut along this top line. So I've gotten these from a couple of stores. Not all at the same time. All out of different boxes. Um, so we could get all of the same one. We could get all different ones. There's no idea. Aww. Okay, we got a baby. This one with the wings. So this is Fauna. Oh, we know Fauna. We love Fauna. Fauna is such a good calico creator. Okay. Oh, and it's not just... Is that... Okay, um, here, I'm going to open up this really quick. Oh, it just shows you everyone. It's all very cute. Oh, and it tells you, okay, so that's how the wings work, is that this necklace thing is going to be um, used to connect the wings, which makes sense so that more calico critters can wear the same set of wings since it's if it's just a necklace then it makes it easier to use yep. make my trash as small as possible also the dress is perfect perfect little fairy i love the scalloped edge it's giving tinkerbell vibes you know it looks like tinkerbell it's a perfect perfect little uh way to do it and it's been funny because I've been opening up um, Disney things today too, and so uh, it I love I love it I love that it's very Tinkerbell. Fauna is little Tinkerbell. Oh my gosh, your little hands just sticking out, such a baby, such a baby. Okay, so got a little, okay got trash trash, and then we got to look at the wing. Okay, so one, there's texture here, a little a couple of dots and a star. Um, first impression was grapes, but those were like daisy flowers. I love the little curl. Uh, similar pattern on this side. And then um, it's a key lock sort of shape to put uh, onto the wings. And then clamp. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, I wonder if it looks good under the lacy, uh, lacy neck. I think, nope, it just slides all the way down. It has to be right there. Okay, well, Fauna is so cute in her little, her little Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell outfit. All right, that's one. One down, four to go. All right. Do you guys have a favorite baby, uh, baby calico critter, or do you love the adult calico critters? Who's this one? Oh, okay, we've got a little fox baby. Oh, this one's gonna be a gnome. Uh, oh, Ray, that's so cute. That's very, very cute. Okay, let's pull these open. See how the little um. Wolf, wolf pup, not a fox. It's a wolf pup. Do they have foxes? I'm pretty sure calico critters have a fox. Okay, so I love that it's just their typical little wrap. Their little arms. Oh, the nose is perfect. Very cute. No tail. Their typical bottom. Um, but I love that they have this little ribbon that looks like a uh, what's it called? Um, 
uh, like a belt. And then let's see how this little gnome cap looks. And then, yep. And then how do you guys play with your calico critters? Do you make up stories? Do you set up little uh, situations? Uh, do you just uh, scenery and take pictures of them? Oh, this cap is precious. Fits so perfectly. Oh, very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, yeah, it kind of falls off. I don't know how I feel about a plastic cap like this. Like, I understand, it's like, okay, we need something plastic. I would almost prefer, like, a shovel compared to this and have just a fabric hat. Okay, I'm gonna put that, oh, a little bit top heavy there. Okay, number three. Oh, here, let me put these down here. Yep. Here we go. And like the hat's snug, but it's also not snug enough. It's gonna keep falling off. Okay, let's see who number three is. And then Oh! Oh <gasps> this one's only the princess dress. Who is the princess dress one? Liberty, Liberty Cat. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's see how she opens up. It's a beautiful little kitty cat. And then that's interesting too that the clothing is plastic on her. I think it's probably a cost cutting thing because um, their clothing is so high quality. I mean, I think at this point it's more high quality than most Barbie clothing. Um, I think I'm just getting tired of screen printed clothing is where I'm at. Aw, so she's a little bit bigger. She has, um, her head moves and everything. She has legs. She's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put you down and then let's see how this dress goes on you because I'm pretty sure the, it's, cheaper quicker and more cost effective to have a little plastic dress than it is to have a little fabric dress especially with this level of detail okay i'm ah okay honestly very cute very cute dress you clip it together it's more of a skirt and then according to this you got to put it on um you can't just slip it in. It doesn't fit the body like that. But you've got a cute little bow with a rose. You've got your intricate lacing. Another bow waistband. Oh, you can do. How do I? Ah, please unclamp. There you go. And so, like, for this kind of thing, it's, it's great. It's a great kind of uh, experience. But also... I'm not here for this experience. Ah, how do you... You're testing your children's uh, fine motor skills. There we go. It's very cute. It's giving kind of like Robotnik vibes. It's very cute though. Very, very cute. Oh, look at the feet. It fits very well, actually. You can move the legs very well. That's so cute. I almost want a little headband or something. Because that would be the cutest. Okay, well, there's that one. Two more. I'm actually very impressed that I have three different calico critters. And not any duplicates. I bet I just jinxed myself, huh? Did I jinx myself? Who's the dupe? Who's the dupe? Who's the dupe? Oh! <gasps> Hold up, hold up, this is the secret critter. It's a secret critter, it's a mouse. <gasps> Isn't a mouse and a rosebud? It's a Thumbelina. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I haven't gotten any of the secret ones yet. So this is, oh, this is exciting. I absolutely love this. I love that it's a little mouse in a flower. That, 
is fairy tale. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's open the little little thing first, and then according to the instructions, you uh, put it together, and then you put the you put the baby in. It's uh, even this. Oh, okay. The hat, the dress, and the flower are all the same color. That's that's really interesting. I love that it's a mouse because it's oh I love I love it I love it I love it ah uh, it's so Thumbelina this is so awesome okay oh she's so cute it's a baby mouse baby mouse okay let's put the flower together it even has a flat bottom so it uh will stay together it's I'm surprised that. It comes in two pieces. Oh gosh, that is a beautiful little like rosebud, flat bottom. I bet it comes in two pieces so you can like, oh gosh, I don't know. It's just, you're it's so precious. Look at how precious that is. Oh, yes. Okay, now I've got four. Who's number five gonna be? Who is number five? Number five is alive. You know what? I do want a remake of Johnny Five. That would be such a fun movie. Okay, who is it? <gasps> okay, how do how did I do this? I got five different calico critters. This one's the genie coming out of a lamp. Oh, that's so much fun. Okay, I really do love these. I love him in his little vest. Um, the teddy bears are one of the next Calico Critter families I really want. I really want the teddy bear family. Because they are just so cute. Oh, okay. Okay. And then let's open this one. Boop. Come on. Clip. Clip, 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 clip. Okay. Okay, so we've got a nice purple. It's the same color as your wings, uh, front and back of, and you've got a really nice uh, metallic lamp right here. And so this one is like the dress where you've got to put it on here. And I mean, that totally fits. They also, the way it's showing is uh, to have the vest on the outside and I think that's probably best okay okay I'm actually here do we want to take your vest off and then put on oh what is your name by the way okay this is Jason so we've got a Ray Fauna Jason Liberty and a baby mouse baby mouse doesn't have a name I'm sure Baby Mouse does have a name, but I don't have the name available to me. Okay. Okay, and then this is the back side. It fits really snugly, actually. It's a very snug, cute little thing. And you've got your little connect points. Okay. There you go. It's like he's stuck in a tub of honey. And he's stuck. Okay. Very cute. Love the coloring on that. And then the red. The red is so much fun with this color combo. And it also differentiates this little genie enough from different uh, different media. Oh, and now it's hard to move his arms. Ah, there you go. Okay. So that they're like, oh, you copied the genie. It's like... Well, Jeannie has a red vest, and it's like, oh, sorry, sir. Yes. Oh, so good. That's so good. Look at this group of lovelies. I I love this set. This set is awesome. This set is so good. Okay, so I just have a couple left. Um, We've got a Snow White, a Robin Hood, and a, like... Probably an Aladdin character to go along with uh, your genie. Ah, oh, but I love them! 
I love them very much. This is so good. It's also giving Disneyland vibes there of like, oh, look at all the little kitties, you know? So, um, yes, tell me who your favorite is, who you want, if you already have your whole collection, if not, who you're looking for. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.